In our post-COVID-19 world, millions more people are relying on digital communication through fiber optic networks. Since contamination is the biggest threat to fiber signals, successful fiber optic cleaning is essential to ensure flawless network performance and reliability. Here are the do's and don'ts to set up your fiber cleaning process for success. Wipe down your work surface and tools before starting the fiber cleaning. A good once over with a general purpose pre-saturated wipe removes dirt, dust, and any contaminant that might be lurking. Wash your hands before handling your clean tools and any fiber optic connectors. Clean hands are less likely to transfer dirt and oils to the fiber components. Plain soap and water work best. Don't apply moisturizer to your hands prior to cleaning. This attracts more contaminants and causes moisturizer oils to transfer onto the cleaning wipe or stick, potentially contaminating the end face you are trying to clean. Don't wear disposable gloves when working with wipes and sticks. Gloves are a carrier of all kinds of microscopic contaminants. Always keep a ready supply of cleaning fluids and tools on hand. Purchase a ready-to-use fiber optic cleaning kit that includes everything needed to clean most commonly used connectors. When cleaning end faces, always remember to use the three-step process of inspect, clean, inspect. Start with your inspection. Be safe and treat all termini as though they are laser energized. Don't look directly at laser energized fiber optic termini with your eyes and don't expose skin to direct or scattered radiation. Only view the termini with equipment engineered to safely inspect fiber optic end faces. Most laser and LED light sources used in fiber optics operate in the near-infrared and infrared wavelengths and can cause significant damage in the form of corneal, retinal, or skin burns. Do a thorough examination of your job site. Different environments require different cleaning methods. For example, very dirty construction sites typically require wet to dry fiber cleaning using a fiber optic cleaning fluid and cleaning sticks. While cleaner areas, like inside finished offices, are better suited to using mechanical clicker tools. Determine which cleaning technique is needed for the contaminant and the fiber optic end face. Do you need a wipe, a stick, or cleaning fluid? Identify which one you need in order to clean most effectively. Start cleaning based on your inspection. Clean in an enclosed area when possible. If there is a lot of dust and debris, wipe the outside of the mated pair before disconnecting to remove the heavy soil first. Don't wipe the end face of the fiber optic on your clothing. This is not a cleaning mechanism and will add contamination. Do use an optical grade cleaning fluid that is ultra pure, non-flammable, static dissipating and residue free. It should also be in a hermetically sealed, not refillable container to prevent cross-contamination and spilling. Do use high quality wipes and sticks to prevent linting and cross-contamination of the fiber end faces. Do throw away all wipes and sticks after each use. This ensures that the contaminants picked up by the cleaning materials won't end up back on the next end face. Do use the wet-dry cleaning method as recommended by the IPC, INEMI, and other fiber industry organizations. Do clean both ends of the mated pair before you mate them. This prevents embedding debris into the end faces that can cause permanent scratches and pits. Inspect again. Don't forget to repeat the inspection process. This is critical to make sure the end faces in the system are perfectly clean and will function reliably. If there are any contaminants left on the end faces, Repeat the cleaning process with a new wipe, stick, or other cleaning tool until it inspects as clean. Perform routine inspections when installing or servicing fiber optic connections. Clean connectors are the key to reliable networks and achieving optimal speed. Clean it right the first time. Leaving contaminants on the end phases can degrade the system performance or cause a complete shutdown with costly rollbacks and time-consuming troubleshooting and repairs. View our training on the wet-dry cleaning method so you can achieve perfectly clean fiber optic splices and connectors.